Hi, everybody. Welcome to this demo webinar from Retail Pro International and OptCulture on OptCulture Marketing for Retail Pro. Uh, my name is Uliana Avetisov. I'm part of the Retail Pro team, and I'm excited today to introduce you to our partners at OptCulture. Um, OptCulture Marketing for Retail Pro is a really helpful solution that helps retailers build omni-channel shopper relationships. And um, they're now Retail Pro International's official partner for marketing. And um, they're available for Retail Pro Prism, as well as all legacy versions of Retail Pro, of course, and all over the world. Um, you'll get to hear from the OpCulture team today on how you can use uh, this technology to centralize shopper data from Retail Pro, from e-commerce, CRM, all of that um, in one platform to help you uh, engage clients and help you um, push inventory and just um, keep communication open with, with customers, keep engaging them. So uh, without further ado, uh, allow me to introduce to you Benji Galt and Amit Lula. I'll see you guys. Thank you very much for that introduction, Uliana, and thank you guys all for taking the time to uh, take a look at OpCulture and what we have here um, as far as an integration with Retail Pro. We're excited. So first off, I'd like to start off with a little bit about OpCulture. Who are we and what do we do? Well, as a retailer, you guys are collecting lots of useful data. OpCulture is the tool that allows you to use that data in a way that creates a better customer experience and subsequently increases revenue. OpCulture provides retailers with an integrated suite of solutions that uh, pair directly with your retail pro point of sale systems and e-commerce platforms, giving your customers a full circle experience with loyalty and promotions. Customers that enroll online can redeem rewards in store and customers that earn rewards in store can redeem online. OpCulture also offers loyalty mobile applications that can display the latest offers for customers as well as keep them up to date on the rewards that they have earned through their recent purchases. Taking a quick look here at our software workflow, you can see that our solution was designed to bring all of the retailers most important data into one easy to use, easy to understand platform. A little bit about our mobile application. It allows customers to enroll and see offers without ever even making a purchase in your store. You can advertise on your app and let customers know about upcoming sales, promotions, or even how to get directions to the nearest locations. The app is available in multiple langu languages, and once customers begin making purchases, they can see all of their transactions through the app as well as track loyalty progress. Our User-friendly interface for email campaigns makes it easy to design branded templates that can be touched up for new campaigns in just a matter of minutes. Our customers can place barcodes and emails for discounts, videos for your customers to see new products, and you can even send these emails to targeted groups based on customer data. With OpCulture, our customers have a team dedicated to their success. We proactively monitor accounts for anomalies or missed data. We also provide in-depth training on the use of our tools, and we work with our customers to create new features and refine workflows as well. A little bit about loyalty programs. Um, it's a simple fact that customers prefer to spend money with businesses that have loyalty programs. An example is here in Houston, we work with a high-end women's boutique who have a 2% cashback program. With three, of their four, uh, with three out of four shoppers enrolled, nearly 90% of their weekly revenue is coming from these loyalty customers. Knowing what they're buying, when and how often they're shopping gives their team the opportunity to target these specific customers that results in higher levels of engagement and subsequently more revenue. Loyalty programs with OpCulture operate in real time and are fully customizable and integrated to all of our features. Electronic receipts can display the latest loyalty balance and automated communication can be set up to notify customers when rewards are available expiring. Uh, loyalty programs with OpCulture are easy to set up and simple for your customers to understand. With the OpCulture Promotion Manager, our users can create frequent buyer programs, such as what you hear about uh, some pet manufacturers doing. They um, buy 12 bags of food and the customer gets the 13th free. With our frequent buyer program, that can help retailers track and run these types of programs. Promotions can also be created in exchange for loyalty points and certain products can offer increased rewards. So with all of the op culture tools working together, retailers could see an overstocked inventory segment customers who purchased that item in the past 
and target them with discounts or increased rewards for purchasing these items. So the customer is getting the product they want and the retailer is solving an inventory issue. Marketing emails are great, every business should be using them, but transactional emails have a much higher open rate. With e-receipts from OpCulture, businesses can, can get right back in front of customers after a purchase. You can remind them of upcoming events, direct them to social media links, as well as your e-commerce page, and as mentioned earlier, you can display the customer's latest loyalty balance. With e-receipts from OpCulture, retailers see a significant increase in social media engagement and customers no longer have to worry about losing their printed paper receipts. Segmentation allows retailers to filter customers based on their profile, purchase, or interaction attributes. So customers that live in a certain zip code, shop at a certain location, purchase specific products, or have even clicked through email campaigns. Any information that's being brought, in, that's being brought into the point of sale system can be mapped and used for segmentation purposes in op culture. So all retail businesses want a high level of engagement with their customers, whether that's birthday campaigns, inactive customer in, uh, campaigns, instructions on how to care for special items, or even reminders for when re replenishment of a certain product is due. OpCulture makes this easy by attaching a segment to the campaign and then that campaign is automated. We're also excited to begin offering detailed reporting and analytics for our users with an integration to Power BI. Reporting figures can be illustrated in neat and organized graphs that allow our OpCulture users to quickly see the progress of their campaigns and programs. So this next slide is our contact information. And all of this will be going out to you guys after the webinar. Now I'm gonna take you all into Retail Pro Prism here. I'm gonna show you the functionality of OpCulture in Retail Pro. So I'm gonna start off here just searching for an item Gonna buy some shoes. And I'm gonna go ahead and click the tender transaction button here, which brings up the op culture CRM. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new customer today. So I've been watching a lot of Seinfeld, so we're gonna create a George Costanza here. Just put in a phone number here for him. All right, so once the customer's information has been entered, we'll go ahead and save that customer. And now he's been added to the ticket. So clicking the tender transaction button is gonna show that this customer has been enrolled in loyalty. And for this demo program, we've created a $5 enrollment bonus, which would be redeemable at the time of purchase. You can also hold these rewards for a 24 hour balance if you're looking uh, to do things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and skip and tender here and not redeem anything on this first purchase. We'll go ahead and take from the customer and clicking the print update button brings up the OpCulture e-receipt plugin which allows me to email a receipt, um, print and email a receipt, print only, or you can also update only. We're gonna go ahead and make one more purchase here with Ms. Costan Mr. Costanza. We're gonna grab some more shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and tender this transaction. And here's where it brings up the op culture. So I'm just gonna use a few uh, letters from his last name, and because he's the only Costanza in the system, it would uh, add him to the ticket. If there were multiple, it would give you the opportunity to select the correct one. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and redeem, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and skip, um, let's go back here. I'm gonna go ahead and redeem some of this balance this time around. So once I've redeemed, it removes from the balance and allows me to take the final tender. So I'm just gonna take cash here and click the print update. Now to show you guys the full integration here to, uh, shop, to Shopify e-commerce platform, I'm gonna take you now to our shoppers website. And um, if Mr. Costanza went online and went to visit your company's e-commerce platform, he would have the option to uh, connect his profile to the the profile that's been created in Retail Pro. Now that's done just by clicking this Join Rewards Program. It's gonna ask me to log into my account. Uh, Mr. Costanza's never been into Shopify, so this will be his first time. So we'll go ahead and enter his information. And we'll 
create a customer here. All right, so checking my balance is going to show me the rewards that I've earned in uh, through retail pro purchases, as well as my point balance. I can click here to view, to view any available discounts. So in Shopify, I can get 10% um, off of a minimum $100 receipt in exchange for 10 of my points. So I can exchange some points for a discount. All of those discounts can be custom created within the op culture platform. So if I were to go ahead and choose some items here, From the cart screen is where I would be able to redeem loyalty. So I can view my cart and then on this screen, it allows me to redeem some loyalty. So I go ahead and apply and it'll take the balance off from the uh, final screen. So if I continue to check out, it'll show me the discount displayed and my overall balance will be reduced by that number. All right, so the last thing I wanna do here for you guys is take you into the OpCulture user interface itself. So you can get a look at what that looks like. So when our customers log into their accounts, this is the first screen that they see, which is our dashboard view. It's gonna display the most recent email campaigns up to seven. So if there's a recent email campaigns that have gone out, they'll be displayed right here. Customers can check the reports just from clicking on the bar graphs. You can also use any of these buttons below uh, to do something quickly like upload a, a list of contacts, create a segment, um, create an email campaign, as well as view reports and manage your auto emails. Over here, the quick overview shows you how many active campaigns. If you have a campaign scheduled today, it'll be listed here. How many contacts in your account have active phone numbers or active email addresses? The number of opt-ins this month, as well as the number of customers that have unsubscribed from communications. Emails scheduled today and SMS scheduled today are just the number of uh, actual emails or SMS that are scheduled to go out that day. So using these dropdowns, our customers can view contacts. Uh, they can create segments. Segments are a really popular tool. So if I go here to create segment, it's gonna ask me to create a segment name and a description. So here's where I would put the rules that I'm looking to create, uh, whether that's a customer that hasn't made a purchase in the last six months, um, anything like that. But you wanna put your rules here. So I would be And I would always connect this to my point of sales list because that's the list that contains data. OpCulture op brings in a sales file, an inventory file, and a customer file from Retail Pro Daily, which allows us to create these segments and targeted promotions. Um, a little bit of elaboration on the three different uh, categories we can segment customers by. Profile attributes relate directly to the customer's profile. So that could be the date that the customer was added. Um, so I could be looking for customers that were added in the last week and that are from Houston and their loyalty members. So you can combine these rules in an and fashion. You can also combine, combine them in an or fashion. So if you're looking to look for customers uh, that are part of one group or another. Um, purchase attributes are the ones that are really useful when it comes to targeting customers that have purchased either over a certain amount. So you're looking to create a list of customers that um, spend more than the average customer or make more purchases than the average customer. You can also look up customers that have purchased specific products um, from a specific vendor. If you're looking for customers, for instance, that purchase Adidas shoes like Mr. Costanza, or you're looking for uh, customers that purchase from a certain department, all of that information flows into op culture and you can use it for targeted um, emails or targeted SMS campaigns. Interaction attributes are also useful too. If you send out an email campaign um, about new products, you're able to segment out customers that open that campaign as well as click through that campaign and you could follow up with more information on those specific products. So there's a lot of things that you can do with segmentation. Uh, I, love I love showing new customers this tool because it really gets the wheels spinning as far as ideas for different marketing campaigns. So it's a really useful tool. Once you've created a segment, you can create an email and attach uh, attach that email to the customer uh, segment. Creating an email is just six easy steps. It's, uh, it's going to ask you for information, uh, the subject line, obviously that's very important, but you can create an email name, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a quick name here, a quick uh, subject line. 
and I'm going to go ahead and just use the pre-configured templates uh, or pre-configured footers. You can also create custom footers with OpCulture, as well as if you're using Google Analytics, you can ena enable tracking links so that you can see the customer journey from uh, opening an email to making an in-store purchase or a purchase on your e-commerce platform. Go ahead and click Next. The, in step two of creating an email, um, this is where I choose the recipients. So if I've created a segment that I'd like to attach to it, I would just go here and attach that uh, segment to the campaign and then just click next. In step three, um, it gives me the option to use a uh, drag and drop editor, which is very simple to use. Um, for those of you that, that copy paste HTML code, you can also do that with an op culture. But the drag and drop editor is really neat. It allows customers to create branded templates and then you can just come in here and select that template and uh, and then move on. So if you've created some, some drafts here, you could go ahead and just grab a branded draft. And then you could change out the content accordingly here in the next step. So using merge tags, you can personalize emails with customers' first names, last names, as well as their loyalty information. So if you send out an email uh, for new product, you can also include that customer's loyalty information so they know how much, uh, they know the value of rewards they have to redeem on their next visit. So six easy steps to create an email campaign. The last step allows me to uh, configure it as a one-time send. I can also see all of the configuration settings here as well as preview the email itself. But this is where I would schedule the email to go out and I can schedule it as a one-time send. I can also uh, create an automated email that goes out daily and is attached to a segment. Campaigns that are attached to segments, the segments are automatically refreshed before the campaign is sent. So if you have a campaign going out once every three months for customers that have only made one purchase with you, uh, that segment is gonna refresh each time the campaign goes out so that you're not sending customers uh, the same emails over and over again and you don't have to manually come into your account and refresh things. Marketing tools allows you to do things like create discount codes that we were talking about earlier. Event triggers are um, automated emails that can be uh, sent out to customers based on the purchase of certain items or when they join your uh, program. Auto emails are emails that can be connected to your loyalty program. So you can configure emails to automatically send to customers when they receive rewards, uh, as well as to notify customers when rewards are expiring. And there are some settings down here for your SMS program that allows you to create certain keywords that customers can text back and get added to a list, things like that. Um, E-receipts, you can configure your own custom templates as well as edit those templates in case of an upcoming event. Um, loyalty is where you can create a loyalty program for your store. Um, there's a lot of custom settings here. We work with our customers to design a loyalty program that fits their best needs. And then over here, I can under, uh, under the reports tab, I can see all of the reports for things like email campaigns, um, if I'm doing auto emails or event triggers, as well as the e-receipts. I can make sure that customers are receiving their e-receipts and how many I'm sending out a, a month. Under the My Account, this is where our customers edit their profile settings and manage their stores. So if you have uh, multiple brands, you can also create individually branded receipts for those stores. You don't have to send out one universal e-receipt. It can be configured to the uh, point of sale system for the, the separate brand. Um, so that's it for today. Um, did we have any questions for us, Uliana? All right, so that's the uh, conclusion of our presentation here. Did um, anyone have any questions for me? Are we able to see those questions in the chat, Juliana? Is that where I should be? Uh, yes, yes, um, I will read those out for you, thank you. Um, anybody okay. on the line who has questions, please feel free while we're um, going through these to, um, to type in your questions, um, any that might be sparked with these. We have a handful here from Kelly Johnson, so thanks for sending those in. Um, Benji, I'll, I'll go ahead and start with the first one, so you showed us the Shopify integration. Do you also integrate with BigCommerce? Uh, could you say that one more time? 
I lost the last Sorry, part of that you, question. There. Uh, do you integrate with BigCommerce as well as Shopify? Yes. So uh, the current integrations we have are Magento and Shopify, as well as uh, we've submitted to WooCommerce and BigCommerce. So we're waiting for them to get back to us. We expect those integrations to be done um, in the very near future. Great. Thank you. And then um, do you also integrate with Klaviyo? We do not integrate with Klaviyo. Um, we're kind of in the same market, I guess. We offer some overlapping tools. So if a customer is interested in, in how we differ in functionality, I think a follow-up demonstration would be would be excellent. Okay, good, yeah. So Kelly um, can be in touch with, with you guys for that or you vice versa. But next question then from, from Kelly. Um, does your loyalty program work across multiple brick and mortar stores? Absolutely. So uh, we've got certain customers that have different brands and we've got uh, customers that have anywhere from uh, one to five locations up to 75 to 300 locations. So we, we've handled multiple store uh, customers easily. Great, great, wonderful. Um, all right, what, so Retail Pro question, what are the integration drawbacks for those who are not yet on Retail Pro Prism but are still using legacy versions like Retail Pro 9? Um, all of the features for Prism are available on 9. Um, our current limitation lies with Retail Pro version 8, and uh, loyalty and all of our tools still function in version 8. We just don't have it as advanced of reporting as we do in version 9 in Prism. But all of the tools that we have in Prism are available in Retail Pro version 9. Okay, thank you. And then uh, one more Retail Pro question. Can you push um, the sales file, customer files, inventory files, et cetera, from Retail Pro uh, more frequently than once a day, like maybe once an hour? Yes, absolutely, we can do that. Um, we have customers right now that have it occurring two or three times a day, but we could do it as often as every hour if that was requested. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, a question from Jean-Luc. So, um, how how does the link run between Retail Pro and OpsCulture? Do you have a connector between these two? How does billing run? I'm sorry, I, I missed that question. Uh, there. Sorry, the link. How does the link run between Retail Pro and OpsCulture? Uh, so we have. And if this is maybe a yeah technical bit, um, maybe high level overview, but we can always go deeper if needed in a separate conversation for that. Sure, yeah. Uh, as far as just to make things a, a simple explanation, we have a connectivity tool that's installed on the server that allows us to uh, have real-time loyalty functioning. We also have an API with OpCulture, an open-ended API. Uh, okay. For a more Perfect. technical discussion, I definitely want to uh, follow up with a call there and I can explain to you exactly how it works. Okay, perfect. Um, so, a couple questions from Manesh. So, all right, Manesh is asking about Magento and WooCommerce, which Magento, you said you have, WooCommerce is in the works, right? And then, um, all right, some of the, can you run through some of the setup costs, maybe an ongoing cost, or is that um, more a location specific kind of conversation there? Um, we have a standard set of pricing for customers that have from zero to five stores. Obviously, five stores or more, we, we would do a custom quote. Um, there is a one-time setup fee that starts at $840 for customers. And again, that's a one-time fee. And it depends on how many stores you have going live. So uh, we would want to uh, prepare a custom quote for, for someone that had more than, say, four or five locations. Okay. Uh, a question from David. What is the ID or key to Retail Pro and Shopify? Is it email or phone? Phone number. Uh, that can be decided by the customer. Um, in the case that I just showed you in my demo environment, we used both the email and the phone number, but uh, the customer can choose the connector there if they'd like. So for instance, if um, they're using phone number uh, to identify loyalty customers right now, we can use phone number on the Shopify side as well. Okay. Uh, Roberto asks, is the software available in other languages like Spanish? Uh, was that for the mobile application? Sorry. I dropped oh, well, it just there. says software generally. So if you have, um, you can answer for both the software right, and right. for the mobile app. Okay, so for the user interface itself in OpCulture, that's currently only available in English, but the mobile application uh, can be available in Spanish and emails can be designed in multiple languages as well. Uh, we're working to uh, create a multilingual platform. Um, just currently we're English only from the user interface side. 
Okay, another question from Manesh. Uh, what is your support structure for any tech issues that might come up? So um, obviously the most important time period after is after a customer goes live. So we monitor uh, new customers very closely and we have 24-5 support. And on weekends, we offer a support based on, um, I guess, the level of severity. So we uh, work very closely and we're not afraid to say that we consider ourselves some of the best um, in the business when it comes to customer support and um, training. All right, thank you. And another question from David. How many days to implement uh, op culture in Retail Pro Prism and Shopify? Um, the op culture Retail Pro integration uh, doesn't take long at all. The, the planning is the most important part. So we would like to do a, a discovery call with our clients first, make sure that we're aware of their setup and everything. Install typically takes, um, you know, one hour per store. And then the Shopify integration can be completed in as little as three to five days. Perfect, thank you. So it does look like that's it for the questions um, today. A lot of good questions from, from all of you, thank you. Um, if other questions do come up over time, um, we'll, be, we'll be sending out an email uh, just you know, with the recording of this webinar for you. And it'll have the contact details that you saw on, on an earlier slide. Um, so you can contact the person you know in that's closer closest to you in your region there. Um, so Benji here in the U.S., Amit in uh, India, and then they've got Dubai as well for you. So um, we will send that out to you. Watch for that in your inbox, and um, yeah, feel free to to contact them with any questions that you might have still lingering after after this webinar. Um, we'll be very happy to help with any of that. And thank you all for joining us today. I um, hope it uh, sparked some some inspiration for what you can be doing with uh, with the data that you've got there in Rachel Pro, right? Making the making the most of 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 all of that being captured and and um, just building those omnichannel relationships with your customers. So thank you all. Thank you, Benji. Thank you, Amit, for joining as well. And um, we'll talk to you next time. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. That's awesome.